What do you immediately think of when you hear Las Vegas? How about any other social epicenter, such as a bar, billiard hall, or <clears throat> Dollywood? Neon. Few understand, however, how neon, or any other gas for that matter, is able to emit its trademark glow. Why don't we take a closer look at this neon sign? It all starts inside a sealed glass tube like this one. On one end lies a cathode through which a positive charge flows, and on the other, an anode with a negative charge. As we get closer, we can see the nebulous gas cloud inside the tube. Getting closer yet, we can see the individual neon atoms zipping around like hipsters on roller skates. Hey Neon, slow down so we can get a better look at you. <clears throat> Any time now. Alright, stop! <clears throat> now, as I was saying, neon atoms possess ten electrons eight of which lie in the outer energy level. The remaining two stay at the inner energy level. When energy, in this case electricity, is applied to neon atoms, the eight electrons in the outer energy level get very excited. No, not that kind of excited. They simply absorb the energy and jump up an additional energy level. After a while, those same electrons get bored and fall back down, releasing the absorbed energy in the form of photons or light particles. Depending on the type of gas used, the wavelength or color of light will vary. Neon happens to emit a series of wavelengths that produce a reddish-orange, the perfect beacon for foggy-eyed late-night travelers. So now that you know the secrets of Neon and its amazing abilities, feel free to tell your friends and remember, next time you see a Neon sign, don't forget the countless atoms and molecules hard at work directing you ever closer to your destination.